this video, I'll break down three paper transitions for Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, here are the three different paper transitions that I'm going to go over in this video. Now I won't break them down completely, you know, step by step, because that'll take 20-30 minutes. But I just want to go over the basic concepts of how to create these really cool paper um, transitions. Now if you're wondering, you know, do these paper transitions or do these paper uh, like effects cost money? Yes, they do. Now they're from Brian Del Mott, and I believe they cost around 40 uh, to 50 dollars so yes these paper effects do cost uh, money so in order to basically create this transition what you want to do is you can either use photos or use video clips or use the video clip now what you want to do basically is you want to go through your video and find places where there's very little movement so you can see right here there's very little movement in this clip so on, on this uh, section right here so i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and click option f to create a freeze frame all i did was just basically created a freeze frame now over here as you can see right here there's very little movement so option f i'm going to create another freeze frame and then right here i'm going to go ahead and click on option f so all i did right there was i just created a bunch of freeze frames so let's go ahead and just delete it right here make sure you know you don't don't accidentally delete the freeze frame so as you can see right here if i go ahead and zoom in right here here are just a bunch of freeze frames so you can see right here this frame is completely still this frame is completely still this frame um is completely still and then you transition into this clip um right here so what you want to do next is now you want to actually apply the paper effect on top of the clip right here so let's go ahead and i don't know let's take like this paper clip right here or paper overlay right here all you want to do is you want to place it on top of the clip right here go to blending mode you want to change that to stencil alpha then you take the paper overlay create a copy go back to the paper overlay right here scroll all the way down and click on screen so you can see right here there we go now you have this really cool paper overlay so you just create a copy one to stencil alpha and the second one blending mode to screen now we're going to go ahead and do a selector right here and then we'll just type in this example um, one all I did was I create a compound clip so now I can put stuff behind it right there so if I place it on top right here as you can see right here there we go it just places on top of the clip um, right here now let's go ahead and I don't know let's take another paper overlay right here I, I believe it comes like 50 um, paper overlays I can go ahead you know and, cor and correct it if I'm wrong but it comes with a ton of paper overlays uh, these are just the only ones it comes with change the stencil alpha so you can see it fits inside the paper overlay then go back over here and change it to screen right there now what you want to do too is now you want to go ahead and create a compound clip right here so example two right here so there you go now you have um two paper overlays right here so you can see right here you have one here and then one here right here so let's go ahead what you can do is you also what you want to create a freeze frame of the first clip so this is the first clip what you want to do is you want to go back one frame uh, press m on the keyboard and you just want to create Plus on option F to create a freeze frame. All you're doing is you're holding the last frame of this first clip. So if I play it right here, as you can see right there, it freezes. Now what you want to do is you want to go every 10 frames. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to place this right here. I'll go slow again. I'm just going to uh, you know, going a little bit fast and then I'll show you what I did. And then we you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So all I'm doing is I'm going 10 frames at a time. So every 10 10 frames a new paper overlay is showing up right here so basically you can go every two frames every three frames every four frames In my opinion I think every 10 frames looks the best anything longer will be too slow anything shorter in my opinion will be way too fast so you can see right here if I go ahead and play it right here all I'm doing is like every 10 frames right here so you can see right here this clip right here it just freezes then you go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven seven eight nine ten and now you can adjust them if you want but that's just you know the basic idea I go every 10 frames another thing too that I like to do to basically help smooth out the transition is I'm gonna go ahead and add an adjustment layer an adjustment layer and then I'm gonna go ahead and basically just um, create a little bit of a flash transition so what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of the adjustment layer add a color board go to exposure and place a keyframe on exposure now what you're going to do is you're going to go one, two, three frames forward, the master turn to 90%, the highlights to 100%, 
and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go one two three go three frames master to zero highlights to zero right here so all i did if i play it frame by frame is i just created a little bit of a flash transition so it looks like you know you actually took a picture the camera actually took a picture in my opinion i think it just smooths out the the uh, transition just makes it look a little more seamless and there you go so you see right there it just flashes the camera flash and then these different paper overlays stack up on top now I'm going to do two is now I'm going to go here, I'm going to go, I'm going to uh, head uh, 10 frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to use a draw mask to cut this out right here and basically show you how I created that transition uh, right there. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and cut out um, this image right here of the baby, of the baby right here. Let's just cut them out right here. And I want to show you another thing that I did just to help make this transition look pretty cool. So let's just do a quick cut. I don't want to you know, waste your time with you know a 20 minute cutout there we go so the cutout of the baby now i will put this um but the other paper effects are free but this like paper checkerboard um actually is completely well, the paper overlays are expensive or cost money but this really cool checkerboard pattern right here doesn't so if i place this right here i'll go ahead and just place actually i'll go ahead i'll remove this and I'll go ahead and take this and drag this up right here. So I'm just dragging this right here. So you can see right here, you have a, a cutout of the baby right here. Wait for Final Cut to render. Next, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on Control D, 10 frames right here. So I'm just changing this to 10 frames. And I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this all right here. So you can see right here, each of these last 10 frames. So flash transition, and then there you go. There's a simple transition right here. Now, if you wanna also add this really cool checkerboard background, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to it down in the description below. It's just an image I found off of Pinterest. So it's completely free. So let's take the checkerboard pattern right here. I'll go ahead and just increase it right here. So you can see right here, you can move it as a background right here, or I can apply a draw mask right here. And I'll just go ahead and cut it out right here. So as you can see right here, I'm just going to basically just cut out a basic, you know, a cutout of it. You can go, you know, more or less, it all depends on you. And there you go. As you can see, you have a really cool checkerboard, you know, cutout right here, background. So you can add this to a cutout, you can add this to a photo or uh, whatever you want. But I'll go ahead and put the link to it down in the description below. So if I play it right here, flash transition, there you go. You have a really cool paper transition. Now you can take those same concepts and ideas and create the transitions that I did um, in the intro. So I'm going to go ahead and head over back to the intro right here. And basically just quickly kind of go frame by frame. So you can see right here, here is a flash transition right here. And then basically what I did was every 10 frames. So you can see right here, here's the first one right here. So I basically just went every 10 frames. So just basically slowing it down so you can see right here i just went every 10 frames right here and just added some different paper overlays and then flashed it on the screen right here and then this one right here it's just a still image so you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you're not keyframing it you're just changing the position and as you can see right here it's the same thing every 10 frames so you have this right here so it freezes right here and then let's go ahead and play it right and as you see right here, you just have paper overlays just stacking on top. You have that checkerboard background. And then you have this really cool freeze frame of the baby right here. I basically want to go frame by frame and show you, you know, how the entire effect slowed down. And then you can use the exact same concepts that I showed in the example and to create these transitions or come up with your own, you know, creative transitions. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoyed these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also i have a playlist with over 280 final cut pro 10 tutorials so if you want to watch more of these videos if you, want, if you want to watch videos more like this go ahead and check out that playlist anyways i'll see you in the next one peace